Well, disappointing to lose, especially after getting that first goal, which we've been desperate for. Yeah, I think the um, I thought we started bright enough. I thought we um, we pressed pressed okay, and that's where the goal came from. But um, the goal just before half time, the second goal has absolutely knocked the stuffing out of us. Um, Listen, my, my view is it's a clear foul on Ben Barkley. And, and the truth is, if he doesn't give a foul on Ben Barkley, it's probably a penalty, because I think he handballs it when he goes to ground. Um, but it's a clear foul, and that 2-1 that going in at half-time when, when we probably didn't deserve to was a bit unfair. But the third goal is a really poor goal to give away. I mean, we probably have to be a bit horrible, a bit nastier, because we, we've, got to take, we've just got to give a free kick on the, on the halfway line. They've got to take him out, take Archibald out. That's what they did really well. They had a bit, bit more nous about them. They knew how to manage the game better than we did. Um, and in the end, they deserve to win the game. Can't complain about that. Um, but we've got to be, we've got to be, be a bit more streetwise and, and probably learn to do the things that they've done that, that's kept them with a bit of momentum, kept them with a foothold in the game. So disappointed. Um, you know, this was always going to be a tough game, but the truth of it is, we're we're in serious trouble, and uh, this was a day that we needed to start getting wins. I felt like we struggled for confidence maybe in the second half which maybe came from the conceding the goal just before the break? Um, I don't think it's confidence I think we just let ourselves down with lacking, lacking in quality um, whether that is confidence I don't know but we've had opportunities from free kicks to put good deliveries in where you, where you build a bit of momentum and we can't get that delivery right um, you know we, we, we work on it on the training ground on, on, in, in training and we're then not able to execute it in a game um, so it's those little technical things that have let us down. We had opportunities first half where we get a little bit of a break and we, we can't find that right pass. Jordan Gibson presses really well and he's got to roll it in for Jack Diamond and he plays it behind him. And Jack Diamond does really well and he can roll it inside in front of Finn back and he plays it behind him and all of that momentum that we've built up gets killed. So it's little small things that cost us that end up being really big things. You made five changes to try and freshen it up. What else can you do to, to try and stop this run now? Well, we've got to keep going. We have to keep going again. Um, disappointing to lose Jack Diamond. He got a whack on his ankle early on and it was too sore to carry on. Um, Finn Back was feeling a bit of tightness around his hips because of the, because of the intensity of the game. So we've just got to, we've got to get everybody back on the grass again, nurse everybody through it. And... Um, just keep working, we've just got to keep going, that's all we can do. Does it look like anything serious for Jack? No, I don't think so, no, I think it was just a kick, but it's too early to say, he was obviously a bit sore to, to carry on. Um, we'll, we'll assess it on uh, on Monday and see, see how it settles down, but I'd like to think it's nothing too serious, um, but I'm, it's too early to say. But I think there's, uh, there's, there's many things that we need to do better, we need to improve on rather than sort of hoping and praying that Jack Diamond's right. We've got to make sure we do a lot more things better than we've done today. Once missed out today, was that just a case of not bringing him to not be on the bench? Yeah, I mean, it was one of them things where, you know, I felt as though we needed to be a bit more, have a bit more legs about us in, in our back three. Um, we, we needed to be higher up the pitch. Um, and, and unfortunately, it didn't work today. We didn't get the result, but... Um, I have to pick a team that I think's right, and I explained it, it to, explained it to Paul on Thursday, um, and he understood. I'm sure he's not very happy about it, but he understood, and I gave him the option. Um, he wasn't going to be on the bench, so I gave him the option of whether he wanted to travel or stay and do some work at home, and he said he felt it would be better to stay and do some work, so we'll get back in together next week and we'll go from there. Gap's still 10 points, but we've gone to the bottom of the league because Fleetwood won today. It makes it feel slightly worse, maybe. Yeah, well, it, it can't get any worse than it is, in my opinion. Um, you know, even before today, it, it, you know, whether it's bottom or second bottom is not good, not good for anybody. Um, so yeah, we were in trouble before today. We're in trouble again. There is still a 10-point gap, but the top and bottom of it is, if we don't start winning games, it's irrelevant where everybody else does. Um, we have to just roll our sleeves up, and we've got to we've got to play with a bit bit of pride and. And, and keep working and just see what comes. Just last one, there was over 800 fans here again today. <clears throat> well, I'm saying it every game, the fans have been outstanding. Um, you know, it's a tough day for them today, especially at 3-1. We've got a goal, a penalty at the end to, to make it look a bit more respectable. But um, we, can't keep, we can't keep doing what we're doing. We, we, um, the first goal, I think, is a really good finish from Ford. 
Uh, the second goal, I don't think it's a corner, as I said to you earlier. I think it's a free kick on Ben Barkley or the referee's got to be brave enough and give a penalty because he's unballed it. Um, it gives a corner, which is a bit of a, a, bit of a cop-out, in my opinion. Um, but no doubt I'll get an apology from the PGMOL again. But um, that's, those things are costing us. But in the end, the way that they went about it, Orient, they were the better team, better control over it. Um, and in the end, it's probably fair to say they deserve to win it.